Hi there, my name is Dr. Kai Nishi, and uh, I'm a surgeon uh, operating here at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Uh, today, I'm going to be operating on a 58-year-old gentleman who's got uh, bilateral inguinal hernias on the right side. He has a fairly large uh, hernia, uh, and on the left side, a moderate-sized hernia. Um, he reportedly had uh, symptoms beginning in 2015, so about three years ago, and this began uh, relatively soon after he had an open hydrocelectomy on the right side. Um, after that procedure, a few weeks later, he began noticing a bulge um, on the right side, which became larger and larger, um, and eventually started noticing a bulge on the left. Um, <clears throat> was not complaining of too much, dif uh, sorry, too much pain uh, from these hernias, uh, but the size uh, clearly was bothering him. And on the right side, it was uh, extending down into his scrotum. Um, so today we are planning on performing a robotic bilateral inguinal hernia repair. Um, and uh, we'll be using uh, 3D Max lightweight mesh um, for this repair. So we've got a 58-year-old gentleman here who presents with a large right inguinal hernia. And uh, you can sort of see that here just from my view. There's a pretty large bulge here but he is obese, so it makes it a little bit difficult to tell. On the left side, it feels like he's got a small one here as well on exam. Reportedly, um, in 2015, he had a right hydrocelectomy performed, open, and immediately or relatively soon after that developed um, a large bulge here, which uh, then turned into a hernia. So it's hard to say if this is something that was caused by that procedure, although I doubt that. And you can feel that he definitely has some post-op scarring because it's very thick here and his testicle is not fully descended as well on the right side. In any case, we need to gain access. So uh, my camera I place right by the umbilicus, not right in the middle of it, but usually just above it, slightly cephalad. He's got a tiny belly button, so it's a little bit harder to hide the incision, but I typically make it in the, uh, the superior fold here, so you can't really see that scar well. But I just like to see where I'm going to go here. Take a knife, please, and an Atsin. Thank you.